in so far as it's limited the period of detention for only five days. I move, Mr. Chair, that the period of detention of Attorney Lopez be 10 days instead of five days. So I move, Mr. That Chair. is a question of due process because Lincoln Ong was that time was cited in contempt. Now, question of question of the case of uh, Mr. Chair, I direct uh, the Lepo, question to you. I am not yet finished my manifestation or answer to the query of the Honorable Marco Leta. Mr. Chairman, Mr. please Chair wish to be recognized. So, Mr. Chair, um, in our last session, so just to review, the committee passed my motion to hold Attorney Lopez in contempt under Section 11F of the Rules of Inquiries in Aid of Legislation for undue interference in our proceedings and resolved to detain her for a period of five days instead of 10 days or maximum of 10 days as provided for in our section 12 of the same rule. I must stress also, Mr. Chair, that the totality, just you have said a while ago, the totality of Attorney Lopez's acts and conduct warranted a detention of more than five days. Considering the totality of her acts of undue interference to the proceedings of this committee and, co and the Congress as a whole, as a whole, she not only admitted writing to the COA in order to suppress or prevent the release of documents, but worse, Mr. Chair, she continued to assert her position during our hearing as well as in prior correspondence correspondences that she sent to his committee in refusing to attend our prior, uh, our prior hearings. But by virtue of her conduct, the committee was deprived of invaluable information necessary to allow it to perform its role of crafting legislation for the improvement of the country's system of governance and transparency, Mr. Chair. In fact, she only attended when a threat of contempt citation loomed large should, uh, should she fail to comply again with the subpena, duces tecum, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, um, in view of the, uh, uh, what happened during the last two days or so, I would like to consider to move for a reconsideration of our resolution in so far as it's limited the period of detention for only five days. I move, Mr. Chair, that the period of detention of Attorney Lopez be 10 days instead of five days. So move, Mr. Chair. Uh, 10 days. Uh so additional five days, tama po ba? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi hindi na siya makaka-attend ngayon, ano? Ka kalagang ano, no? So nakita na naman natin sa history nung kanyang evas evasive attitude, behavior, at itong kinreate niya na sinasabi niya na nagpagsisinungaling niya na hindi naman siya hinaras o hindi naman siya uh, na, na barge yung kanyang, yung, yung room, ay kasama na po yan. So yung lahat ng mga pangyayari, Mr. Chair. So I'm, I, I, I repeat, I move to, uh, to, uh, to extend the period of contempt of Attorney Sulaika Lopez, Mr. Chair. Is there second to the motion? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Congressman Margoleta. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Before an action may be taken by the committee, may I know how the totality of evidence uh, was evaluated that merited the uh, contempt order by the chair. Congresswoman Castro. Mr. Chair, I'd like to... Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, may I'd I like answer? I'd like to apprise the uh, yes, court, Mr. Chair. So, that in the uh, case of... So, Ang in acknowledge niya, Ms. Arena, recognize this is, Mr. Chair. This is a point of information, Mr. Okay. Chair. This yes. is something that has...
to do with Congress, the rights Congressman of the Libert people. In the court, Congressman Marcoleta, let us, uh, the chair recognizes Congressman, Congresswoman so, may Castro. I ask Mr. Chair, Please proceed, Congresswoman Castro. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I ask the action of the committee first on my motion, Mr. Chair, before we enter. We will uh, rule on okay. the motion first. Okay. Uh, is there any second to the motion? Mr. Chair, may I be recognized? Please? Julie seconded. Uh, is there any objection? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I, none, the I, I was carried. recognized Chair. earlier before any action may be taken by the court. Uh, by, the, by the chair. Why is it that I am not allowed to speak? Uh, Congressman Marcoleta, there is a pending motion. We just acted yes, on the pending motion Yes, but before that motion can be taken up because this, this is uh, about the liberty of an individual. May I, be, may I be heard? Yes, you will be heard, Congressman Marcoleta. But uh, we just acted on the motion. Now, Congresswoman Castro, please, could you please answer the query of Congressman Marcoleta? I have not yet asked the question, Mr. Chair. Okay, I am continue. trying to explain my point. Please continue, Congressman Marcoleta. Because in the totality of evidence, as stated by Honorable Castro, there is an existing case, Mr. Chair. Ong versus Senate, GR number 257401, which says that the court ruled that the determination of whether a testimony was false or evasive requires an assessment of the totality of evidence presented to determine whether a witness speaks truthfully or merely trying to evade answering the question directly. So I am asking, Mr. Chair, how was the totality of evidence assessed, if ever it was assessed? Ano po yung pinagbatayan? I, I think we deserve to know how the assessment was made. This concerns the liberty of an individual. Under the Constitution, no one should be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. I think Attorney Lopez deserves to be heard. Ano po yung assessment na ginawa ng chair o ng committee? Kasi po ang nais, ang nabasa ko lang o nakita ko, Mr. Chair, Attorney Lopez wrote the COA explaining the position of the OBP that the audit observation memo is not conclusive, which means, Mr. Chair, Attorney Lopez is merely explaining the nature of an audit observation memo. If I were the lawyer of uh, the OBP, I would have done the same. Because I think the very nature of the AOM, it is not final and executory. Why would, why would the COA abdicate its mandate of auditing the transaction or the funds utilization of the OBP? Why would the committee, Mr. Chair, Arrogai arrogate upon itself the very mandate and responsibility of the Commission on Audit. Article 9D, Section 2, Paragraph 1 of the 1987 Constitution, Mr. Chair, I will read. The Commission on Audit shall have the power, authority, and the duty to examine, audit, and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipts of and expenditures or uses of funds and property. Mr. Chair, this constitutional provision jibes with Section 25, Paragraph 2 of Presidential Decree 1445 or the State Audit Code of the Philippines, which says to develop and implement a comprehensive audit program that shall encompass an examination of financial transactions, accounts, and reports, including evaluation of compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Meaning to say, Mr. Chair, the mandate and authority to audit accounts on the expenses or expenditures of government is only the COA. 
I believe, it, it is my respectful submission, Mr. Chair, that this committee usurp that particular mandate and that will now put the Commission on audit positions in a compromise, Mr. Chair. How, we now, how, how will you now uh, assess the authority, the integrity, and the, and the mandate? It is an independent constitutional body which mandate rests upon them. And I think the audit observation memo, Mr. Chair, is still under process by the committee, by the Commission on Audit. Why would we take that responsibility from the Commission on Audit? Why don't we allow the process to proceed and complete that investigation? I am raising a constitutional issue before this committee, Mr. Chair. We cannot arrogate upon ourselves the principal mandate repose to the COA. It is the Constitution itself which gave them that responsibility, that authority and mandate. Where, where in Article 7 of the Philippine Constitution, which is the grant of legislative power, can this committee arrogate upon itself that particular mandate? I would like that question to be answered, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Marcoleta. The Chair would like to recognize the Honorable Congressman Paduan. Paduan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to clear it out with regards to the, the jurisprudence that's cited by the Honorable Marcoleta with regards to Ong versus Senate. That is true, no? that the, the resolution of the Supreme Court favors uh, Lincoln Ong, but, but, that is a question of due process because Lincoln Ong was that time was cited in contempt. Now, question of question of the case of uh, Mr. Chair, I direct the Lepo, question to you. I am not yet finished my manifestation or answer to the query of the Honorable Marcoleta, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, was to be the Honorable Congressman Marcoleta wish to be recognized, Mr. Chairman. I have all the right. The you have question this. was addressed to. Congressman uh, Marcoleta, let me first recognize Congressman Paduano. Before you answer, before you recognize pa him, I Marcoleta, deserve. You are out of order. I deserve, Mr. Chair, an answer. One minute suspension is declared by the chair. Bakit, bakit sa'yo 